Traveling can be super expensive. However, every country you go to, there's an opportunity to live on the cheap and sometimes outright for free. So today from Tokyo to New York City, I'm going to show you the best, most bizarre, and surprising things I found while living for free around the world. Now, normally when you think of the cheapest country, you think of $4 hotel rooms or even $1 food. However, to live for free, it's surprisingly insanely hard. We can't buy anything because it's too expensive for us. We can't even buy coffee. I'm getting a bit hungry, man. Like, what, yeah. are, you, what are you feeling? Are you hungry too? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting hungry because it's already <laughs> one. It's one o'clock, man. So, what we'll do is yeah. to the Gurdwara Bangla Sub. Yeah, I think I'm like it. Oh. My teacher right here, yes. <laughs> I'm just gonna put my camera right over here and we're gonna get to eat in here. Now in the US, life is a bit expensive. However, because of the sheer amount of competition and marketing, it possibly is the best place to find absolutely insane promo deals. I wanted to kind of like level up this time. I want something a bigger portion that's an actual meal. So right now I'm gonna go retrieve my free sandwich and 22 ounce fountain drink from Jersey Mike's. Can I have a regular super sub? You want a combo or just a sandwich? Um, I'm not sure actually. I have a, like a coupon here. Yeah. I thought, we're, um, there's just a drink in the sandwich, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. As I was waiting there at the cashier, she was just like plugging in all these numbers and I was like, this definitely is not gonna work. And then she looks up at me and I thought she was gonna be like, oh no, sorry, sorry, it doesn't work. But then she says, it's completely okay that it took this long because this monstrous sub is completely free. Now I want like something to like cool down. Um, can I have a small mango or go-go? Thank you. Honestly, nothing has ever tasted better than a free mango smoothie. Now finding free food is one thing, but finding a place to sleep for the night, that's, that's a completely different issue. And in the UK, it's pretty much impossible. But after eating at a pay-as-you-feel restaurant, I had a great conversation with my waiter and decided to step a little bit outside my comfort zone. I actually have a question for you. I'm on this challenge, like going across the UK, like staying yeah, yeah, yeah. at couch surfing hosts, like right. staying for free. I okay. to stay at five tonight. If, if I could, that would be so, that would be such a freaking good story. So, yeah, yeah. Yes? So, yeah. But, oh my god, so cool. The problem is I've got to stay at work. Yeah, no problem. So, I mean, I'm, I'm finishing at like 10. That's oh, okay. fine, yeah, yeah. Okay. But he does have to work two more hours, so I'm in McDonald's using their free Wi-Fi kind of just to pass the time. Hey, what's up? Hey. Yeah. Is this going on YouTube or not? This that? is going on YouTube, oh, yeah. Right. Sure, YouTube. <laughs> I'm going back off. If you've all been to Park Life Hours there to me, we're shite. Do not recommend. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> 10 o'clock. <laughs> Let's go meet the waiter, Ali. Hello again. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> because of this, like. <laughs> So, sorry, it's not the best, it's a bit messy. Man, no, this is outstanding, it's wonderful. <laughs> Is that my couch? Yes. Now, arguably the world's most advanced city is Singapore. So it's no surprise that I possibly found the most luxurious free place in the entire world. Cannot describe how excited I am for this. Welcome everyone to the best airport in the world. Now, there is an insane amount of stuff to explore. So what I think I should do is group different things up. And first part, of course, is entertainment. Now, whenever I think of sheer entertainment, the first thing that pops in my mind is just being a kid again. So it only makes sense to get started it off on the largest indoor slide in an airport. Oh, my childhood self would be so, so happy to see me right now. Whew. 
What a way to get started. <laughs> now, if you're tired and more into leisure, wanting to like take a rest, I got you too. All around the airport, there's these free massage chairs. Wow. Now, the next thing is something that I just truly can't believe. I'm just gonna show it right now. There's a swimming pool in the airport. <laughs> oh my gosh. Welcome everybody to, I think the only swimming pool that is at any airport. The swimming pool itself is quite large actually. And over here, there's a hot tub. And then from the hot tub, you can literally just see airplanes taking off and being boarded. And also there's a bar over here that serves anything from alcoholic drinks to, I believe, coconuts to food straight to you at the pool. But if you're in the mood to literally just veg out, there's that too. Welcome everyone to the arcade room. <laughs> With retro arcade games. And if you're wondering, of course, it's free. Oh, I gotta play Pac-Man. But also there's various different experience zones of anything from kids cartoons to sports games to really any program you can think of in two movie theaters. Oops. Wow, that is an actual legit movie theater. Now in the most expensive city of Paris, I had to get a little bit creative. Now, if you've ever been to Paris, you know that living on the cheap is practically impossible. And living for free, that's just straight out ridiculous. So to find my free activity in Paris, I use this app called Zin, which is this super awesome short form video platform. But what makes it different is that all the content is made from locals, recommendations, and entertainment from around the world. So I searched all these different hashtags about Paris and then probably watched over a hundred videos. And then actually in my For You page, I found this video of this girl who said you could take a free five-star meal chef cooking class and that it's actually sponsored by the city of Paris at one of these beautiful food markets. And let me tell you, when I arrived to this cooking class, my mind was like initially blown. Not only was the market possibly the best market I've ever been to, but when I arrived, we had a chef teaching us with one of those typical chef hats and we weren't making like some greasy food. We were making real luxurious five-star meals. Like the dude literally poured wine into the dish. So thank you to Zin for sponsoring and helping me find this insanely cool free class and absolutely amazing food. So click the link down in the description box below to download Zin today to not only be entertained by awesome short form videos, but also to discover this amazing network of locals and also expats showing you guys the best food, the most unique places, and just the best things they do overall in their cities. Now in Japan, they do things Let's just say a little differently. I came to discover that Japan is literally the capital of outrageous, impossible food challenges. Oh, uh, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty scared to attempt this. Is uh, this the place with the big curry? Yes, challenge menu. Ah, uh, yes, the challenge, yes. <laughs> is it very hard? Very hard. H how much time do you have to finish the Finish uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yes. Wow, okay, okay. They're free. Free, okay. So 20 minutes, Down. you get it for free. Yes. 1,980 yes. yen yes. if you don't do it for free. Okay, okay. Down. Wow. Have you ever done it? Down. No? No. <laughs> I'll, I'll try it. Try? Yeah, I'll try, yeah. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> and although I'm like incredibly hungry right now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Give you guys a little bit of perspective of what's normal here. A small is 200 grams, a medium is 250, and a large is 300. Which means 2.5 kilos is like seven large portions. Gosh, it's literally spilling over the edges. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> okay. Wow. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, this thing is so much bigger than I thought it was actually. So this dish is made up by an insane amount of rice, any fried meat you can think of, spring onions, garlic, curry, and a raw egg. And I'm like 
trembling holding this right now. Like, it is so freaking heavy. I don't really know what I'm... Honestly, like, this for, like, say, Matt Stoney would be nothing. He would be like, oh, this? This is, like, five minutes right here. For me, being, like, a normal person... So anyway, uh, I think she's gonna put the timer on and let's do this. Okay. Oh. oh my gosh, the problem is the rice is so hot. that curry in there. So the rice isn't so damn sticky and hot. Holy crap, my eyes are like watering. <laughs> Honestly, it's starting to get like full right now. Don't say that, Bobby. You cannot freaking say that. Shit, so much rice. Gosh, I am like just profusely sweating right now. <sighs> Shit, it's like they know when you're gonna hit the wall. My body's just like, what are you doing, Bobby? <laughs> When I was imagining this, I was just like, oh, this is gonna be easy, no worries. No, food challenges are not easy, man. You just have to like scoop everything over here. Scoop up the sides at all here. You got like a piece right there. Let's just clean the plate just to make sure. Oh, commitment to living for free for a day. Holy shit, man. Let's have it all nice and fancy here. Act like we didn't just, like, rule that baby out for the last five, ten minutes or whatever, how long it's been. I think it's been, what, like, 16 minutes? The Bite of Champions. Um, excuse me, is, uh, where's the lady? Excuse me. <laughs> 17 minutes, okay. Okay. Wow, so, ah, and, and these are the people on the wall here? Okay, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs>